so the reason that um, domestic fish seem hardier than import fish certainly has a basis in genetics as I'm sure you would guess the import fish tend to be strained out a little bit further their bloodline may go back hundreds of generations uh, and that's entirely possible since their generations are so close together they're a little bit inbred and I don't mean that in a negative sense because those fish are a whole lot prettier than the ones that uh, have a shorter genetic tree um, but it goes beyond genes I think it uh, stretches into things like intensity frequency and duration of their uh, immediate lifestyle which is uh, goes pretty much to transportation uh, the intensity of their transportation is a lot worse for the uh, imports they go through uh, fairly intense transportation because of the duration of their transportation they come from the ponds in Niigata in the mountains they come down from the breeder to um, brokers and transshippers where they're housed briefly packed up and then sent to um, um, the airport and then they're shipped to uh, the United States they drop down in LAX uh, where they're rebagged with fresh water and oxygen then they go to either they're received by the wholesaler or the seller um, quite often so after LAX they get uh, shipped one more time and then they get shipped one more time after that and a lot of times they'll get shipped yet again to the end consumer um, so these fish are shipped as many as seven times, but never less than three, um, which is very different from the domestic fish because a lot of times with the domestics, they um, uh, will just come right out of the breeder pond to the end destination, which is uh, you. And then they're picked up by the, the uh, purchaser at your house or your, uh, your uh, store. So the uh, intensity of transportation is... Um, considerably less uh, based on the, the duration uh, while the fish are in the bag life is a lot harder because of the, the duration the ammonia in the bag accumulates the pH falls a lot lower and the fish are jarred around and banged up uh, considerably worse so transportation is a huge thing but also the um, frequency of transportation is is outrageous because they're transported so many times to get where they're going so frequency, intensity, and duration are drastically different for the uh, imports. Plus the strain is um, the um, strain of the fish, the line breeding and uh, inbreeding and that sort of thing are um, significantly different. The um, familiarity with certain diseases, when those fish get on the ground, they're not accustomed to some of the diseases that are here. Um, so some simple bacteria or virus or uh, parasite that we have here commonly and that our domestic fish have been used to for uh, generations when the Japanese fish come over they go into our facilities and they've never seen a particular Nella or Bodo or uh, parasite and they're exposed to it for the very first time their immune systems have never seen it before and it ravages them that's uh, not as common as mainly the transport issues so there's genetics, there's uh, a com uh, adjustment to certain parasites and bacteria, and, but mainly it's transportation. What you'll notice is people uh, assert that it's genetics. You'll notice um, that after the first year of the season, after the first season, the, the fish are pretty much equivalent as far as their vulnerability to disease. And so um, it's really after that first season where the shipping has occurred and they acclimate to our environment, kind of get used to the germs we have and settle in that after the first season you notice the difference between the domestics and imports maybe 5% as far as disease vulnerability. So, there, got through it. Didn't even use any bad words. Um, for those of you still awake, I'm going to be at Pondemonium this year. I'll be leaving Friday night, though. I'm not going to be there over the weekend. Um, but uh, I will be there, and I'm looking forward to it. So I'll be getting into town maybe, uh, I don't know, when it starts. I think that if that's Tuesday or Wednesday, and then I'll be taking off Friday afternoon. Um, so if we're going to go out and um, do any damage or vandalize something, then it would have to be something like Wednesday night or Thursday night and then uh, catch up with some of you guys. Looking forward to seeing Chris Tallarico. I think Greg Whitstock is gonna be there. Um, Ellen Blue might be there, that would be cool. Ed Blue is gonna be there. I think he's gonna do something with um, pond construction, I think. Um, and uh, anyway, I'm looking forward to all that.
seeing you guys again. I uh, appreciate your patience and time, and uh, see you soon.